Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel. Myself Roslyn and in this video we will see how we can enable the secondary access in the clustered column chart in Power BI Visual. And these are the two headings that we are going to cover in this video. First we will see how we can enable the secondary access in the clustered column chart visual in Power BI. In the same way we will see how to remove the added secondary axis in the clustered column. So let's begin. First we will see Power BI clustered column secondary axis and how to enable it. So basically we use the secondary axis when we have the mixed data to be displayed in the clustered column chart. So in that case we will enable the secondary axis. Once the secondary axis has been enabled we can see it appears in the right hand side. So it is not possible to enable the secondary axis directly in the clustered column chart. The alternative way is we will convert the clustered column chart to the combo chart. So there are basically two combo charts that are available. One is line and clustered column chart and the another one is line and star column chart. So in this example here I will show you with the line and clustered column chart. Open the Power BI desktop and load the data using the get data option. Here you can load from the various data sources. I have previously loaded the financial excel sheet here and we can view in the data view. Here you can see this is my data. So now get back to the report view. Under the visualization select the lion and clustered column chart. Just because directly we cannot enable the secondary axis in the clustered column chart. So we are going to use the combo chart here. Expand the data table here and drag and drop the fields into the field section. Here I am going to drag and drop the product field to the x axis line y axis and the gross sale to the column y axis here. Here you can see the clustered column chart displays the gross sale and the CGOS value by product. So now to enable the secondary y axis select the clustered column chart here and go back to the format your visual option. Here you can see the secondary y axis is disabled. Simply enable the secondary y axis here and here you can see in the right hand side it displays the CGOS value. This is how to enable the secondary y axis. We can see the values displayed in the right hand side position. Anyway, however, we can see the product and the gross sale value here. This is how to enable the secondary axis in the clustered column chart using the line and cluster.